18 degrees, gone past my prediction of 18 and heading towards Barbara's 21. I think she's going to win today. I've got to be honest with you. It's Wednesday, uh, middle of the week, September the 1st. Pinch and a punch to everybody that's joining us this morning. And uh, first of all, let me do this. Galaxy. Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and for those of you that are joining us on Facebook Live this morning, got to welcome you guys along. Uh, New Zealand has gone from level alert level 4 down to level 3, Auckland and Upper North Island still staying at level 4 so uh, that's the situation there. But today we have great news, absolutely fantastic news and believe me, you're going to love this because Pete Wheeler is joining us back here at Galaxy from the band, the Durham County Band. And believe me, you I know you guys love the music, you really, really do. And, uh, well, let's kick it off. Uh, tomorrow's going to be there. Well, we spoke to him about tomorrow's going to be there the last time. So, let's refresh our memories. First of all, here's the song. What's the temperature there, Pete? It is a beautiful 23 degrees. Okay, well we're not too far behind you, we're at 20 now. Yeah, we've had a really hot spell over the last, and not hot as some people would put it, but I mean we're almost to the 30 degree mark, but a lot of humidity and stuff like that over the last couple of weeks, so. You know, you get that 29 and 30 degrees and the humidity hits you, it's kind of like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I but know. that's not hot for some people. Well, here it's the first day of spring. Yeah, you guys are just coming into it. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel very bouncy at all, actually. I've got to be honest. <laughs> well, you know, you got to put a little spring in your step. <clears throat> <clears throat> they got to look me out to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look me out often, bro. They don't. No. Yeah, no. It's uh, it's all good. All sorts, all good. All sorts of things can happen when they whip me out. Believe me, one place is still waiting for a security cart to come back. <laughs> not the little white, not the little all white All good, all good. Yeah, I know the weather's been really good, and uh, I look forward to winter myself. I'm a winter kind of guy. I enjoy uh, not being so hot when you're walking the hounds. I've got two Jack Russells that are pretty active little. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah, it's nice to go for a walk when it's cooler and you know, put a jacket on. The last couple of days they've been just basically uh, get, get a couple of blocks and they just plant themselves and they sit underneath the shady tree kind of go, nice yeah, I don't think so, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. So. I get it. Uh, do you get snow there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, how much? Is it, you know, like up to your shoe, up to your ankle or up to your knee? Oh, uh, we can get snow like definitely up to your waist and stuff where I am I'm farther a little farther north so in the summertime we get beautiful sun beautiful summer great beautiful fall and wintertime we can get you know two three four feet type of thing like I own a snowblower <laughs> <laughs> I own it and I use it pretty yeah. regularly in the depths of winter I guess you believe know. me my wife says she owns a snowblower as well <laughs> And we yeah. don't get snow here, bro. <laughs> Is it the Grant model? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Version one. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 19 after 10 o'clock, it is 19 degrees, so uh, I can see Barbara's going to win today in the temperature, well, you know, that's Wednesday, isn't it? September the 1st, by the way, 
first day of spring here in New Zealand and it is an absolute pleasure not only to have everybody joining us uh, but also to have Pete Wheeler joining us coming out of southern Ontario yes the Durham County Band got to say hi to Cheryl Schofield as well nice to have you on board Cheryl uh, now we kicked the show off literally with tomorrow's gonna be there now that was the last track we caught up with how about refreshing our audio audience's memory and tell us a little bit about that track. Well, that was a song that's uh, really written kind of halfway through all of the pandemic stuff that we've been going through so far. And uh, it was a, a conversation that I ended up having with a fan on Facebook that kind of, it kind of triggered the whole kind of meaning behind the song, which they were having a lot of, a very difficult time and was having a hard time looking you know forward and stuff and you know you're typing stuff and you kind of feel futile it's a futile effort to try and convey any kind of real emotion and trying to understand or connect with somebody that way and it was that one thing where that line came out where it's like you, you can't be scared of what's ahead if you're scared of what's behind like you can't do that and that kind of came out in the conversation that we were having uh, that I typed and then it was kind of like the light comes on and you kind of go it's like like we all go through that a lot of us go through where there's points in your life where you just got to put on the boots and and get walking because there's no way around it we're always going to end up with those situations so being able to kind of Put the blinders on it. Just look forward and focus on what, what tomorrow could be instead of looking back. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping it's one of those things that a lot of people can connect with because I know it's something that connects with me a lot too. Well, i got to be honest with you, Pete. Uh, it is getting a lot of requests here at Galaxy. It really is. So, yes, I think you're making a, a connection with our audience especially. Uh, now, having said that... Uh, how does somebody get in touch with you, Pete? We've, we've done this before, but let's go through this again. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? And more importantly, Pete, do you respond? I do my very best to respond to everything that I, everybody, every, every time I see something. Um, probably the best way is through the website right now, um, DermCountyBand.com. Uh, you can email. There's a section right there where you can email and connect with uh, myself, all the guys in the band. Um, so that's probably the best way. We've got uh, a whole section in there, kind of a little Easter egg section, a little spot where if you sign up for the mailing list, we promise we're not going to spam you and send you a whole bunch of stuff, but it keeps you in the loop when maybe a new song's coming out. Uh, like right now, I'm putting out a song under Pete Wheeler just for a solo thing. Um, so I put a page up on the Durham County site, but if you sign up for the mailing list, you can get into our backstage and on the backstage, there's all sorts of different pictures of stuff that we don't post everywhere. Um, there's acoustic versions of songs that are, aren't available anywhere else. They're free to download. Um, it's just kind of a neat place. So that's the best place to get all of us. But, of course, there's Facebook, um, Durham County Band on Facebook and Instagram. Um, Got to admit, uh, I, I kind of jumped the boat on Twitter because it was just bringing me down. <laughs> it was just bringing me down so I just kind of bailed on it for a while okay now tell me are you one of these newfangled people that talk or are you a ticker say that again are you a tiktoker do you do tiktok nope I haven't started it yet I'm uh, I'm considering it it's it's a lot of work to get that video stuff and keep the content up so it's like because I do a lot of the work here at the studio and I play most of the instruments and I'm doing all the re writing and recording and stuff taking on a whole new, oh, let's do video and stuff. Now, that being said, I do have some video stuff that uh, we have done that's on um, YouTube, so you can kind of hit the, the Durham County uh, space there, and there's a bunch of fun videos that we post, and just us goofing off. Very cool. Now, uh, you did mention your website, but at the same time, on your website, Pete, do you have a merch store? Um, so we don't have any merch up. Um, I am. It's one of those things where I probably should get my <clears throat> proverbial button gear and uh, throw some merch up. But uh, we, it's it's actually there. 
but I haven't posted it live yet. <laughs> right. So we do have we do have some shirts and some hats and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it's probably a good thing you said that. It makes me probably. <clears throat> Step up! The, the posterior is on the way, believe me. Uh, well, having said that, maybe you might send me a couple of shirts. You never know. Uh, when we do these interviews, Peter, I've got to be honest with you, everybody, you know, they're on the interwebby thing while they're looking. They're going to see who Mad Sympathy is right now. I've got to be honest with you. It, it's, it's uh, you know, that, what, what would we call it? Uh, subliminal marketing that we do while, sure. while we're talking to you, while we're promoting Durham County Band coming out of Ontario, somebody is reading this and going and finding out who they are as well. Who's know? those guys? Who's those guys? Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. How, how does Grant know this person? You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So believe me, uh, and yeah. it's, a, it's a good deal. Uh, at the same time, uh, are you, with this, all this new stuff, and believe me, the year is running out. We're in September 1 over here, and you're still last month, aren't you? Yes. So, um, yeah, well, yeah, 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 I'm still in August yes. for another eight hours or six hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so last month, aren't they? <laughs> but uh, we're in September. Are you looking, as we were saying, look forward, are you looking at doing anything uh, Christmassy for Christmas? Oh, got so many plans and stuff like that. As far as the band stuff goes, I'm really trying to focus on, uh, I've got so many songs I need to kind of get out so um bronson was just here with some of his buddies they're doing a side project and uh, a couple of the guys that he brought in to work on that project that i was kind of helping them record and produce and stuff and we kind of hit it off so i got some interesting things going on uh connecting with those guys um i have another project that i'm doing that's probably going to come under the pete wheeler um thing so that's uh that's going to just be a surprise. It's it's kind of it's still countryish for sure, but it's uh we're just gonna we're gonna mix it up a bit. We're you know, something new. I like that. I, I do, and uh, I'm always inquisitive. And basically, I'm gonna say, obviously, Pete's gonna come back again and release new stuff with us in the very near future. But oh but, yeah, yeah. Like, well, I mean, the thing is, I always tell people. If you're listening to shows like this and you discover artists you like, not just me, but any artist, go to their website, go to their, their Spotify and iTunes, whatever platforms that you use to kind of play other stuff, and, and follow them. Like them. It, it really helps the artists and stuff like that. And again, it's not just, just me or Durham County, but any of those artists. But it's places like this, like you guys, that uh, take the time to kind of find the, the hidden gems and uh, give us a spot to rattle off for a while. <laughs> well, i got to be honest with you, Pete. It's always, always a pleasure to be able to do this. I, I don't call this a job. i got to be honest with you, Pete. This is an absolute pleasure to be able to host and, and be able to be entertained and entertained with some of the most talented people of tomorrow. Here at Galaxy. Uh, tell you who we're interviewing in the next day or so was, uh, do you remember the band ACDC? Oh, no, I, who? Yeah, uh, okay, <laughs> well, founder and very first lead singer Dave Evans is coming for an interview and we're looking forward to catching up with him on Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, that would be cool. And uh, he's also, uh, I've got to be honest with you, uh, we are associated with a magazine coming out of Bangla Bangladesh, Bangla 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 Yeah, it's one of the doors anyway. Uh, it goes back. <laughs> Good friend of ours, who's celebrating his birthday today too, is the uh, editor of Lazy Indie Magazine. Now Dave's going to be the cover boy on that for uh, this forthcoming edition. So I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, and it's, like a good time. It's one of our uh, articles, isn't it? Yeah. Very cool. Underwear. Love that, cool. you know. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to you about that very, very shortly too, by the way. Uh, see, if Bar see if we can get Barbara to get you into the magazine, because believe me, um, Jay, uh, the editor of the magazine, lives in an area of 8 million people. I'm sure he knows each and every one of these people by first name, you know what I mean? 8 million people. <laughs> He's just one of those guys. He is. <laughs> he awesome. is so connected, it's not funny, you know. So, uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have him as part of Galaxy and us part of his business as well. You know what I mean? That's awesome, yeah. 
So, um, it, it, hey, it is true. What? That we are connected with Jay and, uh, and Lee. Somebody here says it just ain't true. <laughs> 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 and who hey, is that? It is, it is true that you say it just ain't true. Now tell me why it just ain't true. Another song that means a lot to me. Um, there's uh, This song really kind of came from the back of my mind. And uh, I, I'm in a, a mixed relationship, a mixed couple relationship. And uh, of course I love my wife very much. There are people that uh, sometimes give you looks. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't mean that in a... I, 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 it just happens. And, and it's it's a funny thing when it happens because you don't... You never think about it on the inside until it becomes apparent. But even in that, I think that feeling that I had that just kind of... The light comes on a lot of times when, I, when these, some of these songs kind of come up. It's just a feeling that you get and it's like... I think I think other people feel this way. I think this is something that people can relate. So it's not just that, but it's there's so many times in relationships where I think people are so connected, and the other people around don't give you the support that you'd think. And I think it's it's a song that means a lot again to me, but it also means a lot to a lot of people who who have to fight the good fight to you know keep it keep it real and and that's kind of where it's that's where it's coming from really for me anyways but I'm, I'm hoping that it's a song that kind of connects with people on whatever personal journey they're on with their relationships well I gotta be honest with you Pete and believe me I know those looks and usually it means duck because something heavy is coming next hey uh, but uh, <laughs> I recognize those looks. but having said that Pete uh, here at Galaxy, we've been playing it. We haven't actually been saying a lot about it. We're just dipping the toe in the water, see how the reaction is with our audience and everything like that. And so far, uh, climbing from 800-odd, you're coming up around about 1,000 re requests for it right now. So it's starting to make a move here at Galaxy. And we're, awesome. We're proud to have it in the system. We really are. So uh, for the very first time, telling you all about it, this is Pete Wheeler, and he's from the Durham County Band with Just Ain't True, where it is really. It was a against the world. <sighs> dear, dear, dear. Um, as you know, bro, you'll get, we'll do the crazy photos after this, and you'll, Barbara will make oh, yeah. the movie and everything. Something, <laughs> something new this time, Pete. Something new. Something new, yeah. Uh, we're going to turn it all into a cartoon as well. <laughs> hey, that, that works for me. Half the time I feel like my life is a cartoon. Hey, hold on. <laughs> it's one of the very few things that actually makes me look good. <laughs> hey, come on. You're a handsome fellow with that scruffy old beard going uh, down there. That's <laughs> a, uh, how right. much work does that take? Yeah, it must be a bit. Uh, it just all of 30 seconds. Yeah, it sort of grows on me actually. <laughs> it's like fungus. Um, I got the perfect face for radio, bro. What do you feed that thing? Oh, don't know. Oh, not, not with women around, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, we gotta keep it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought, believe me. Ladies are watching players. this. I'm sorry? Bass players. Bass players, yes. yes. Female, bass, Female players. bass players. Yes. I'll let you succeed. Now okay. go yeah. We'll go with that. I'm all right going with that. Yeah, it, it, it's hard finding them in the supermarket, I tell you. Well, you can't. <laughs> They're all wearing these masks. You don't know who yeah, 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 they all covered up now. Oh, this is crazy. Is. You know, Pete, when we first went into lockdown the very first time, our security minister comes out in the news and says, our equipment is faulty. It's not working properly. We can't recognise people's face. And that's because they have a mask on. Right? Okay. A couple of months later, in our biggest city in Auckland, somebody wanders into one of the biggest banks in one of the busiest parts of Auckland, robs it, right? 
<laughs> and the security minister comes out and says, the problem was we fixed our facial recognition system so it recognises people with masks. This guy didn't have one on. We don't know who the hell he is. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the desk, bro. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta. Yeah. And of course, folks, don't forget, besides Pete Wheeler, there's Kip Walker, Bronson Brown, and also James Downham in the band. Yes, Durham County Band. Uh, but just lately, of course, with the COVID thing and everything like that, good old Pete, he's running the flag for the boys. He's doing it. He really, really is. And I've got a lot of respect for him, not only as an artist, but also as an engineer. He's absolutely very, very proficient at his job. And uh, I would... I, I hope everything's going well with your engineering right now. Everything is going fabulous. Um, behind me is my brand new recording studio room that I just finished building, well, I guess five months, six months ago, four months, not that long ago anyways, and uh, a lot of hands-on stuff like that. So the, the first song that was out of the room was Tomorrow's Gonna Be There, and then uh, my solo song there, Just Ain't True, is uh, the second one that I've kind of popped out. And trust me, there's so many songs that are kind of falling off the fingertips. It's uh, it's a beautiful thing when you can create an environment. Or or for those who artists that know, when you go to a studio where you just kind of walk in the room and you kind of go, oh yeah, yeah, I got, I, I'm feeling it. And uh, I've built quite a few studios over the years. Um, and so when I had the chance to kind of do what I wanted for myself this time and start right from scratch, it's a beautiful thing because I've got all of the guitars hanging within arm's reach almost here. They're all in tune and, and they're acclimated to the, the room and just everything's kind of in, in reach. So it's, uh, it's a, a great environment to be really productive in the writing and, and the recording. Um, process uh, like i was mentioning bronson and a, and a bunch of his buds came over uh i think it was last weekend and every one of them walked into the room and kind of went oh yeah uh yeah i yeah i could uh yeah this is cool <laughs> that's a good feeling yeah you know Pete, i get the uh the deal with ambience it really really well it puts people at ease i gotta be honest with you but uh, I've had an experience with that kind of deal in the past as well. I had a friend of mine that was setting up his own recording studio and he says to me, what, what should I do for it? You know, I says, go with what you feel. You know, make people comfortable. Go with what you feel. Hadn't seen him for a month or two. Went and caught up with him. What do you know? He's got a strip club. <laughs> well, you know what he's feeling. <laughs> Exactly. Mounds. Yeah, believe me, it wasn't what I was expecting. He's get, you know, where should I put the desk? Where should I do this? Where, you know, drummer right there, all that sort of stuff. Two months later, he's got. He says it only started with a stripper pole, and I went, "Why a stripper pole?" He says somebody asked for one. Oh, and, and then it, you know, it just went downhill from there, and he's ended up with a strip club. Uh, you know what I call that? Lucky. I call that a squirrel, a squirrel. Yeah, basically I would too. You know what I mean? It's like you're like, oh, I'm going to do this. Squirrel, oh, let's do this. Oh, squirrel, oh, let's go over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we call that moth. We call that moth over here. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I have two Jack Russells, so I like rabbit, squirrel, burp, down. Yeah, believe me, I got a couple of dogs that are about well, maybe thirty times bigger than your dogs, but uh, they're just as intelligent when the, you know. They can be looking at you in a minute, moth. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. But, but your dogs are only bigger in in size, not in spirit, because like Jack Russells are one of those dogs. I I like I could I, I call my some dogs Jackasaurus Rex. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, the the biggest little giants in the world really aren't they? They're this big, but they think they're pretty tough. Yeah. No, they they got it. <laughs> believe me, I, I I know Jack Russells well. I really really do, bro. <laughs> and uh, wouldn't mess with one of them, ever. <laughs> Pete, we are going to have to move on. Unfortunately, we do have another interview to uh, do very, very shortly coming out of Maryland. Uh, but will you come back again? Absolutely. You guys are have always been so kind uh, to myself and the Durham County Band boys and stuff like that. Uh, any Anytime we're doing something, I, you're always on the top of my list. And uh, I'm going to connect with some of those... Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. You really, really do. Uh, next time you see Bronson, give him a poke in the eye for me, won't you? Uh, uh, hey, I will do so. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet, Pete. Uh, we're going to do a couple of backstage things, but right now we're going to get way back in time to 1977 with David Soul. What we're going to do right now is go back, go back, go back. way back. 